Good evening, welcome to my laboratory. I, everyone's having so much fun with their little motor demonstrations that I thought I would, I had better do one too. Um, just so that I'm playing my part. Now here's my motor test bed. I've, uh, I used to have these connected together, but now I've taken one apart and rewired it so that each uh, of the two uh, stator coils or field coils are um, separately available and I've turned it around so that the shaft is pointing over in this direction. I've actually reconnected the stator windings so that they're once again in series just as they were um, before I did this modification. These are the two brush wind, uh, uh, connections that go to the armature. Uh, it's got a standard uh, commutated armature in there. So these are the armature windings and then here are the two brush coils, or rather uh, stator coils, and they're connected together in series, right there, like that. Okay, so, um, and here's a an ammeter, just pop that up there so you can see it. So now I'm going to connect 12 volt power uh, through the ammeter to the armature windings only and give it a little, little spin and you can see it spins, spins pretty well and it spins uh, counterclockwise if you're looking at it this way. Now I have the uh, stator windings aren't connected to anything and there are no magnets in this motor and it's we've drawn about 740 milliamps there. So now I have a means of shorting out the stator, the stator windings. And so we'll short them directly. And there's a slight speed up in the motor. I want to do that. And then if I short them through this diode, The motor bogs down and just comes to very nearly a stop. Okay, so got that. So if I don't use the diode, the motor speeds up slightly. And if I do use the diode, the motor bogs down to very nearly a stall and uh, the armature current goes up. So now I will reverse the input voltage connections, polarity to the armature. And once again give it a little starting spin. Now it runs in the same direction. It's still turning counterclockwise. And the current draw and the speed is about the same as it was before. Now I'm going to short the stator windings. And once again, you can hear it speed up just a little bit. Now watch what happens when I short it through the diode. Notice that it's now turning much faster and the armature current has actually gone down. Let's do that again. So with the uh, armature polarity <coughs> one way, still counterclockwise, short it without the diode, it speeds up slightly, short it through the diode, 
it very nearly comes to a halt and the armature current goes way up. Now these stator coils are not connected to the brushes electrically. It's two separate circuits. So with the polarity this way around, Clockwise still, short it without the diode, speeds up a little bit, short it with the diode, so it speeds up radically and the current consumption goes down. Thank you for watching.